Hi, this is Michael from strabismusworld.com. I wanted to record a video about uh, what happens when someone starts crossing their eyes and develops strabismus and what really happens in the brain uh, when that person develops amblyopia or what is commonly called lazy eye. So it's sometimes called also brain blindness because actually both eyes still function well there's nothing wrong with the physical health of the eye but the brain is not receptive to what is shown to the second eye so the person starts actually seeing with one eye which is directed at whatever they're looking at and the second eye turns away and it's not receptive anymore and starts developing something called visual suppression so it's a neurologically induced kind of vision loss which also leads or might lead to visual spatial neglect so you're not you're basically half blind and you're ignoring everything on one side of your body so supposing that my right eye is my good eye which sees best and my left eye starts develop, developing amblyopia or starts being a lazy eye, so-called lazy eye, I start having dark spots at my left, not really dark, but you know, uh, so to speak, dark areas where I don't see very well and I start bumping into things on my left side because I don't see them anymore. Uh, but this is actually just the tip of the iceberg because you're not developing both hemispheres of your brain anymore to the same extent. So your your visual world is biased to one side, tilted to one side, but also your brain development is not balanced anymore. So you might start developing other problems than just visual problems. Your body image might be screwed and your posture might be suffering because you're compensating for the limited visual range that your eyes uh, can handle. So you might start developing clumsiness as well because your body image and you're, you're not seeing well, your body image in your brain is distorted so you might start developing motor deficits uh, which manifest themselves as plain old clumsiness and because of this you might start developing problems with self-confidence and emotional disturbances you might even start because the visual is very important in learning language so you you always have to couple an image or what you're seeing to what you're hearing so a kid might have or an adult even might have speech disturbances still as an adult with a lazy eye. Uh, of course if you don't have good eye teaming there might be reading trouble which in turn also impacts the language learning process or your fluency because you, you have trouble learning new words and uh, making your language base more profound with more vocabulary you could acquire in books. and because you're not seeing well with one eye you might also have inattention problems because everything is distorted but not only do you not see well with just not only is one eye turned off to a great extent also your good eye because it's trying so hard to see well and trying to not have this competing input from the other eye which it is suppressing it starts because you're so focused on that good eye you start developing some kind of tunnel vision and you your peripheral vision suffers because you're suppressing so much of your visual field that the the periphery it just kind of gets shut shut out and you're focusing all the way on this central little central field so you're not just are you losing your second eye but you're losing 
much of what your good eye is seeing as well because your peripheral vision is just annoying you if you would have, have it from both eyes and even from the one eye so you don't just lose the second eye you also lose much of what the first or the good eye is seeing so that's why it's such a disruptive problem amblyopia and being cross-eyed and it's often shoved off the table as being a minor problem but I'm trying to explain how how it impacts your neurology and how it can impact your entire life because vision is directly or indirectly impacting every activity you do whether it's reading, writing, walking down the street, driving it's all connected to vision and not just like do I see clearly but can I move confidently based on what my vision is telling me, what my eyes are telling me, what my eye movements are telling me. So that's the big deal about strabismus. It's not just a minor thing, it's, it changes your entire being and your entire neurological setup. So that's what I've been trying to explain in this video, how suppression and strabismus and lazy eye impacts your daily life and how it can disrupt many of the learning processes from ranging from language, reading, mathematics, any kind of learning process. So when we're talking about learning disabilities, don't look too far. Start with vision and rehabilitate vision. Thank you for watching and there will be more.